All right, welcome to week 35 of our Back to Eden Garden Palm Beach style. And yes, this is a new addition to our family. This here is Marshall. That's right. He is a Belgian Malinois, uh, like a shepherd. So my brother brought them as a gift for the boys and actually he's not just one, there's a second one. Let's see if we can find him. Where did he go? There he is. He's running around over here. And there's Chase. Hey, Chase. Chase. Say hi to the public. Say hi. Hey, puppy. And yes, the rooster at it again. Anyway, uh, still no eggs. Well, not no eggs, but we've got brown eggs now. One a day from our Red Star. And I believe uh, we uh, have identified the problem. Some of you have said, hey, maybe they're laying them somewhere else. No, because we've had them locked up for a couple days and no eggs, no egg production. So but now we know it's, uh, we believe it's their feed. I stopped giving them their normal feed, trying to let them live off the land, but it uh, seems like it's not enough. Looks like they need a lot more nutrition in order to lay eggs. Anyway, let's take a look at the garden. Cilantro, as you see, is doing very well, and we've used it quite a bit. Now, uh, I've had this watermelon growing here, and I'm considering moving it um, because it's just not in the right place for that I want it to uh, to be growing. So, if anybody knows if I can transplant it, let me know. Um, everything else is looking pretty good. Carrots are coming along, and I've got more coming along the way. And here we have some kale popping up. I hope they make it because it's been kind of warm. We hit 87 today. I know you northerners are still feeling the brunt of winter. But uh, anyway, our broccoli. Um, still producing some, some little sprouts around here. But uh, one thing I did learn is that if you don't get them, they turn into flowers, which is neat because then you get to see the bees coming around pollinating. So that's exciting. Our beets looking really good down here. And uh, so looking forward to eating them and juicing them. Yes, I'm still on my juice kick. And my wife and I and my brother have lost some substantial weight. My wife actually tried on some old bikinis and they fit amazingly well. She looked great. So anybody thinking about it, this is great. These are cucumbers right down here. They're popping up. Uh, now these are just the stuff that's been growing from the pulp that I had so that I had put into the ground and I still don't know what they are. They might be cucumber, might be melons, who knows. This one over here is my biggest one. She's over here and then just moving along but nothing, nothing is, uh, no fruit. It just keeps growing and growing so I just keep moving her in a certain direction. And then um, here's my little guy, Lucas. Say hi, Lucas. And I got some bananas from the banana tree. How about that? So. Hi. You can see that. Isn't that pretty cool? So, I think I'm supposed to cut off the flowers. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the other thing I need to move, or I'm not sure if I do, is the pulp. The little pup that came on the side. Hi. So, um, Daddy. I'm gonna. Somebody posted something on the Facebook page that uh, I haven't had a chance to look at, so I'll be looking at that. Hi, Daddy. Hey, my tomatoes. Hey, champ. And then this one is also has a, a pup growing outside of it. It's a little guy, but it's pretty cool. So, I'm sure, if you can see it. Let's see. Yeah, probably a better angle here. There she blows. So, oh. anyway, uh, that's it for this week. Oh no, real quick. Um, sorry about that. Hopefully, I can get you dizzy. I have continued to expand the garden. Keep going out east and just playing more and more mulch. I had a bunch of piles. I think I had probably ten piles out here. I'm down to six. And I was like, wow, I spent most of the day yesterday clearing those trees and um, laying down mulch. So excited about that. Just keep, keep it going. It's about two feet thick 
out over here in these trees out here back here so it's really thick so I'm looking forward to seeing that turn into the dirt all right um, and there's my brother took some of our neighbors coconuts and we've got a little cutter here so uh, looking good and yeah they're throwing things around anyway thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your week and uh, God bless